Hello Fingsters, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, let's learn how to fetch all the URLs that are present in a current web page. Now, let's say this is a web page that is given to us and we have to find all the URLs that are present in this web page. How do we do that? So basically, let's understand that this points to a URL. 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 So basically, whatever you see when you hover over something, if you see that uh, the text turns blue and uh, if you see an underline, un uh, if the text turns blue, then probably those are the URLs. So now let's see how they are represented uh, in HTML. So let's right click on it and uh, say inspect. When we inspect this element, we see that this best 15 plus machine learning cheat sheets to pin to your toilet wall so yeah this is the value of an anchor tag okay and the anchor tag contains an attribute called href and the url to this particular value is given via the href attribute so in order to find all the urls from this web page we have to find the value of all the href attributes that are present in this web page. So let's learn how to do it programmatically using Python using the beautiful soup library. So we'll be using the beautiful soup library to parse the HTML files. But before passing the HTML files, we should be accessing the HTML files. To access the HTML files, we'll be using the requests library. So let's get started. If you don't have beautiful soup and uh, requests installed on your system, then uh, make sure you install it. To install it, you'll have to go to the terminal. And uh, in the terminal, you can say pip install requests to install the requests library it is already installed on my system so i'll not install it again if you haven't installed then please enter this command and hit enter to install beautiful soup you have to say pip install bs4 and then hit enter uh, again the uh, beautiful soup is already present in my system so i'll not be installing it now that we've installed both the libraries let's import it in our program to import requests library, we say import requests and to import uh, beautiful soup library, we say from BS4 import beautiful soup. Uh, why is there a distinction between these two? That's because have a look at the packages. So basically all the packages that you install are uh, present inside packages folder. Now, when I go, I see requests folder is present. So I can just say requests. But if you see, we had installed it, uh, pip install BS4, right? So the BS4 folder exists, but not beautiful soup as such. So when you get in here, you see that there is a class within the init.py py file. You see that there is a class named beautiful soup. So all that we are doing here is saying that from BS4, we import this beautiful soup class into our program. So I guess now this clarifies why we are using from BS4 import beautiful soup uh, and uh, why we are using import requests directly here. Now that we have imported both the libraries that are required, let's try to parse a small HTML string and then uh, let's try to actually find the links from a proper website, real time website. So to parse this, let's say soup is equal to beautiful soup of the HTML. Sorry. HTML underscore string comma the parser that we'll be using which is the HTML parser so I say HTML dot parser now uh, let's try to find the attributes uh, sorry the anchor tags so I'll say 
print soup dot find of the a tax now i'll run this program so as you can see a anchor tag is returned but it has found only one anchor tag we need all the anchor tags so to find all the anchor tags let's use find underscore all so now let's run out the program so as you can see a list with all the anchor tags that are present in the html string are returned so let's run a for loop to access single things for element in soup dot find all of a print ele now i'll run this program so the anchor tags are being printed now let's try to access the attribute so class this is an attribute href is an attribute uh, id is an attribute now uh, we want to fetch this url so url is the value of the attribute href so now let's learn how to fetch the values of the attributes so basically the python soup library what it does is it stores all the attributes and the values of these attributes as a dictionary for example when you see ele.attrs is a dictionary uh, i'll just print this so when i print this i'm able to see that uh, it creates a dictionary of keys with the attributes as keys and the value of the attributes as values so in order to access this key we say ele.attrs of href attribute so when we do this we get only the urls alternatively you can also say ELE of uh, href because ELE dot uh, attrs that also internally points to ELE tag itself. So when you say ELE of href, even this prints the value of the URL. Instead, you can also use ELE dot get similar to the dictionaries how do you find uh, the values of uh, dictionaries you say uh, dict dot get off the key value right so similarly we can say ele dot get off the href value so when i run this i get the url instead of finding all the elements using the anchor tag you can also find the elements directly using the href attribute so you can say href is equal to true now so this gives us the urls that are present in the string so let's say you want to find the value of uh, the urls whose i value of id attribute is link one say there is something like this that condition that you have you can say within a tags you have to find the ones who have id is equal to link one and okay this is it let's see now when you run this program you see that only creative commons dot org is being fetched similarly if you have to specify any conditions on class you have to say class underscore okay this is the keyword because class is a keyword that is used for other things as well they have come up with this keyword that is class underscore so let's say class underscore should be sample one let's see what happens when we run this program so we get the required url let's consider another example let's say there are two urls and uh, the first url is the external url and uh, the second url is an internal url mm, something like uh, let's say we are uh, scraping wikipedia and uh, this url is an internal url 
something like yeah this is an uh, internal url and we have to fetch only the external urls in that class what uh, in that case what we can do is we can again have a condition on href saying uh, we can specify a um, regular expression indicating the ones that begin with https are the only ones that have to be included for example we can say import re and here we can specify the condition re dot compile of the strings that start with https should only be included yes so this is it now let's run the program so yeah you can see that only the external one is being included and uh, this one is not included now that we have understood how to fetch the urls from the html string let's try to fetch the url from a live website say wikipedia uh, so yeah this is the wikipedia website let's uh, let's fetch all the urls that are present from this site so i'll just take an example I'll inspect this element. So when I inspect this element, um, I can see that all the URLs are present within the anchor tag and the HTTH href attribute. Okay. So with this in place, let's start coding. This is not required now. So first, let's fetch the URL. So the URL is https double slash www dot wikipedia dot org now we have to use requests dot get off the url when we get the response we get status code equal to 200 if it has fetched the data so it is always better to include this in your code so that we know when something is not working as expected so let's say response dot this is optional but however it is better to include this in the code if the status code is 200 let's uh, so when the status code is 200 Let's parse the document that is response.text. Now, let's find all the href tags that are present. I'll give href is equal to true here. And then we are uh, printing all of the URLs. So let's try running this code and see what happens. Mm, sorry, there is an indentation error. Okay. So let's run the program now. Yeah. So as you can see, all the links within that web page are being printed. So there are some internal links and uh, Mm, there are some external links here now let's say i want to fetch all the external links in that case what i can do re dot compile of i'll say we have to include only the strings that start with https so i'll run this so you can see that only a uh, few things are being printed and uh, if you see this link this looks like an link within the wikipedia itself so it is not technically an uh, external link so in cases like this you can have another condition here specifying if 
Mm, this is the H ref attribute, right? So if Wikipedia, this string is present in element of href then will not do anything will just continue will not print it else will print that string so now let's run the program so if you can see now there are no internal links and there are just the external links so that is pretty much it i hope uh, this tutorial has been helpful stay subscribed to us for more content thank you for watching